Hello everyone and welcome back to another Mr. Skills video. For this tier metal exchange, I'm going back to the TLS format. I prefer this much more than going through it very fast. I also have a sore throat this time, so I, I want to go through this a bit slower. Um, but this metal exchange is quite interesting for two reasons. One is a lot of limited rare recruits this time around. It's like 15. So if you are a collector and you have a lot of medals, then go for it. But none of them are amazing in content. But Let's get straight into the metal exchange. So, what the other thing that's quite interesting is that we have super class units this time around. I think this is the first time we've had super class characters in the metal exchange. So, that's quite interesting. Let's get through it. Starting off with the 150 middle to category. Um, this character, uh, Predatora, he's trash. Don't buy him unless he gets a limo level limit break later on. He will stay. Uh, he's a crap character. Both of his legends are terrible. Garp has niche uses as his support, but he's a terrible captain and not an amazing special either. Mihawk and Perona. So, this unit is quite interesting. I'd say they are a niche character. 250 mils is a bit... You see, this unit is not amazing. They don't provide a lot. They are a terrible captain. And as a sub, the only thing that they really give is their conditional attack boost, which doesn't really go to full immunity unless you have three uh, enemies on the enemy side, which is a very annoying condition to fulfill. There's not a lot of content that has three enemies on their side. So this unit is pretty bad, pretty niche. Um, but they're pretty good for their local sea monster quest, and they have the uses sometime in super boss if there is three enemies, but I'd say this is a good spot for them. Nami Robin, I'd say they are good for 250 medals. They were in the 400 medals category before, glad they bumped them down, they are not worth 400, but I think they are worth 250, definitely. They provide a 2.5x dex and int or boost, so it's very strong and it's to a lot of characters. I've definitely used this character before, and they have a bit of utility as well, so they are very good sub. As a captain, not so much, but yeah, they definitely are, are worth it, I'd say. I don't think they, they are must buy units, but they're definitely going to help out your account if you are running a Dex or in team. So, moving on to the 400 medal category, yeah. So, Katakuri, super class. He is a powerhouse unit. I would say he is a uh, considerate character because the issue with this character is that he's only to powerhouse. So, his special is very good and he's pretty versatile, but he's only to powerhouse units. So if you don't have an orb boost, then he gives you a 2.5x orb boost. If you already have an orb boost, then he gives you a 2.5x attack boost. The only issue is, as I said before, they are only to power characters. So he's very niche. He's only good if you're running a full power team. And if you're running a full power team, he's also really good as a captain. 5x to power, 3.75x to other characters. He also has a bit of an HP booster, as well as having uh, healing 50% of the damage you take uh, when you move into the following stage. So he's a pretty tanky unit and very strong to powers characters. But if you're not running powers, which is most of the time, then he's pretty bad. So I'd say he's a considerate character. He's definitely not a must buy character. You could probably even go down to niche because of how little he's used. But I'd say this is a decent spot for him. If you don't have him, I would pick him up. But yeah, he's not an amazing character. Moving on to Doflamingo. I'd say this character is somewhere between buy and considerate. But I think he's more on the must buy side. So this character is... Basically the driven version of Katakuri. Um, what's so good about this character is that he wave clears any super class and he also resists special buy in any captain effect. So those two things make him so good for content. Especially for treasure map. He, Whenever the enemy gives you special bind, this unit is going to be the go-to character you're going to be using as your captain. You can just run him as a captain, he resists the special bind and he can wave clear stage 1 and 2 with his super class. So such an amazing character to have. Um, still pretty good in regular content, but not seen as much. But just for his amazing use in treasure map, I'd say he's a worth it character to have. Um, so I'd say he's, he's like basically category but better. So I'd say he's in the must buy category if you don't have him and you have a lot of medals. Um, but I don't think he's like crop of the cream for this tier. I'd say he's somewhere in between considered and must buy. But I, I'll just keep him here for now. Okay, Nova is Ace. This is a recurring unit in the metal exchange. They've I've seen them here so many times, uh, but once again, they are a must buy unit. Two in one, they're so good. I'd say the versus Ace part is tier one, and Akainu is tier zero still. Such an amazing character. They provide orb boost, a conditional attack boost, and uh, full board matching orb. So this unit is amazing. Two in one versus units are always nice to have. So. Moving on to the final uh, character in this uh, medal exchange, which is Boa. I'd say this character is niche. For 400 medals, it's a bit steep. If she was 250, I'd say she's in the considerate tier. She has probably the best super, one of the best super types in the game, providing a full border of matching orbs through block, as well as giving a 2.5x attack boost to your Cyan units. 
So it's always nice having an attack booster. Such an amazing super type can get you through like an entire state, a mini boss stage with th just that. But her special really doesn't give you much. It's just some healing, and she applies Melo Melo to the enemy, uh, which is probably not, which is not an amazing uh, debuff. At first, it was quite interesting, but it's pretty useless. And as a captain, she's just okay. So I'd say this unit is a niche character. She also has a pretty okay support, giving 4,000 HP and a Psy Orb on the final stage. You see some use if you need the extra HP, but not really much. So I'd say this is a good buffer. If she uh, goes down to the 250 middle to category, I'd say she's a considerate unit. But that's going to be it for this middle exchange. This is where all the units lie in my opinion. But I hope you enjoyed it. and if you did enjoy it, like and subscribe for more content in the future. Sorry about my sore throat and I'm kind of waffling this video, but... With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.